Hey everyone, it's Mike here from the SEO Pub, and in this video I'm going to show you a real quick tip on how you can use Chrome developer tools to emulate a mobile browsing experience to inspect your web pages and websites. Before I do that, make sure you head over to the SEOPub.com, sign up for the newsletter there where I send out tips like this every single week to your inbox. And if you're interested in how I can help your company grow, make sure you head over to clickconsulting.com and hit the request for proposal button over there to get the process started. So today, the majority of websites are built with a desktop first approach. In other words, most web developers are working on a desktop device and they're designing a website in a desktop browser. And from there, every web developer I, I know and I've worked with for years now will make sure that it also lays out well on a mobile device. It's very rare that a web developer will build a website with mobile first in mind from the start. In other words, they don't start designing a mobile version of the web website and then convert it to desktop, they do the opposite. They start with desktop and then convert that to a mobile experience. Google, on the other hand, of course, crawls everything mobile first. Everything in Google is from a mobile first mentality. So it makes it important to understand what your web pages look like and how they lay out on mobile devices. And you can certainly pull up a mobile device and take a look at your pages quickly that way. It's not always the most convenient thing to do though, and especially if you're auditing a site, and you're working on a desktop device, it's not always easiest to pull out a mobile device and, and look at it in there. But Chrome Developer Tools has a really easy way that you can emulate mobile devices inside of a desktop browser. All you have to do is go to the web page that you want to view, right click and hit inspect, and it will pull up the Chrome Developer Tools window. And right over here on the left is a little toggle button which will switch your web page that you're viewing from desktop to mobile. You click that and it switches to uh, an emulation of what it would look like inside of a mobile device. And you can do this for any page on the site and then take a look at it. You can easily switch back and forth to compare them really quickly. So just a couple quick tips of things I look for when I'm auditing pages and I'm looking between the desktop and mobile version. The first thing and the most obvious thing is to look for anything that's missing when you switch from one version to the other. I've had a few cases over the years where web developers just got fed up with trying to get something to lay out correctly in a mobile version of a page and just chose to hide it instead, uh, which is not the best decision. Now, sometimes it's just cosmetic things. It doesn't matter that much, but if it's content that's important to your web visitors, that matters a lot. Uh, another thing that I always look for is the margins on the left and right. And I've seen both extremes, and this, this is a, impacts the accessibility in Google's eyes. I've seen both extremes. I've seen cases where the left and right margin were too big, so it made a really narrow column in the middle and you know each line was only like two words or three words going the whole way down the page. Or I've seen the opposite where a page goes the whole way to the margins instead. And actually I did that on my site just to show you an example of what I, what I mean. Um, like this, where it goes the whole way to the, the margin here. That makes it really difficult for users to read. It's not a good browsing experience and it's possible that Google ding sites for that a little bit. Uh, also look at things like the font size, you know, does it translate okay on over to mobile? Uh, is it easy to read? Is it too small, too big? And the last thing I look at is, are there any features that are important for conversions that are either missing or not as prominent and just kind of laid out poorly on the mobile version? I was just auditing a site recently that when you switched from desktop to mobile version, what happened was, their call to action was part of their menu and their navigation, which was fine. It was, it was coded into the menu. They had a button kind of kind of like this where it stuck out in the, the menu. But when you went to the mobile version, it actually became part of the hamburger menu instead. So it wasn't, you couldn't see it unless you happened to click on the hamburger menu, which of course was could you know really hamper conversions on on mobile devices so again just it's just a really simple way where you can emulate the a mobile browsing experience when you're auditing web pages and taking a look at web pages how they lay out on mobile devices so that's it for this video again head over to the seopub.com if you haven't already and sign up for the newsletter there and i'll catch everyone in the next one